So guys, it seems like a lot of you guys out there, including myself, encounter the no supported DXGI adapter was found error when trying to start Modern Warfare 2. Now I found a fix for it and I thought I'll share it with you guys real quick. First of all, I was really panicking, right? Because like, how come you don't recognize my graphics card anymore? So I did install the latest driver, which is 526.86. And I was a bit worried about that because I was still running on the 522.25 driver. I don't know if you saw my tutorial about that, which kind of fixed the flickering and all that. Now, but now having tried it with the latest 526.86 driver that's available on GeForce Experience, it works fine. There's no flickering. The frames perform the same way as on the older driver, so I'm quite happy with that. But let's get into fixing the DXGI adapter was not found glitch. So when you're in Battle.net, you want to click that little cogwheel down here, and then you want to go on check for updates. Okay, that's the first step you want to do. You might just have to check for updates. It works for you, and then the game already runs after you installed the latest driver. If that doesn't work for you, then hit scan and repair. Now, I did not have to let this run through all the way. I let it run for about a minute and then I canceled the scan and repair with the little X on the bottom underneath the cogwheel. Then the play button turned into kind of an update button. I clicked that, it instantly, after clicking it, turned into the play button again, so there was no real update. Then the game launched. Then it said, you know, there was a problem with the shaders. You have to re-download the shaders. You do that, the game restarts. Then it runs through the shader installation that we all know on the top left again. So you got to have to reinstall those shaders and then the game runs fine. That's how it was solved for me. I hope that will do the trick for you guys. If it didn't, then please leave it down in the comments. I'm going to try my best to help you uh, get it fixed. Uh, but that should really do the trick. It's, it's a quite shocking warning when it says that you're computer suddenly doesn't meet the minimum requirements for the game but don't worry it's an easy fix so i hope this fixes it for you guys if it did then please don't forget to smash the like button you can subscribe to the channel because i do other content which is not as boring as this tutorial maybe check that out i would appreciate it and i would appreciate to see you in another video take care of yourselves and i'm out